Good morning and welcome to MCC News. This is Corey Gibson. Today we go to Jennifer over at Riverside Park. She is covering a story that recently came to our attention, an alligator in the duck pond at Riverside Park. Good morning, it's now 8.30 and we're here with MCC News at the Fort Morgan Riverside Park at the duck pond. Today we recently discovered that there was an alligator in our duck pond. We don't know how it got there or what it's doing there. We're determined to find out. In order for us to gain more information about how the alligator got into the duck pond, we're hoping to find some locals that live around here that will possibly know about how the alligator got here. Excuse me, sir. Uh, would you mind answering a couple questions for us today? Um. Yeah, sure. Hey. Hi. How's it going? Hey, we're with MCC News. Oh. We're here today because we found out that there's an alligator in the duck pond. There's an alligator in the duck pond? Yes. I, I did not know that. Oh. I, now I see it. That's awesome. I, I didn't see the alligator. I thought it was over there. It used to be in the swimming pool. Oh, so now someone stole one, it? Someone stole it and stuck it in there. Or the recreation department put it in there to attract people to our duck pond. I don't know. So, how do you think the alligator got into the duck pond? Mm, I don't know, I think there was probably some crazy little kids just trying to have some fun and try to make a pretty funny practical joke. Who all do you think put it in there? A group of teenagers or a group of 11 year olds? A group of adults? Teenagers most likely, I think so. Do you think they will tell their friends and then that'll get back to the sheriff's office? I don't think it'll get to the sheriff's office pretty soon, but I think that all their friends know already that the alligator's been there. Do you think it should be removed or if it should stay there? I really don't know if it should be removed. I think it's a pretty good accessory for the pond makes it more interesting. Do you think it'll attract more people who are driving through our town if they see an alligator in our duck pond? They might be wanting to come and see if it's a real or fake alligator. Once they see it's fake, they might just crack a few laughs and jokes about it. Do you think we should put it in our tourist brochure that we have an alligator in our duck pond? Yes, because it'll bring people here and they'll be like curious if it's real or not. Okay, thank you for answering our questions, sir. Have a good day. We're here with Deputy Jose Munoz from the Morgan County <laughs> Police Department. And we're hoping that he can give us some information on how the alligator got into the duck pond. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Um, how do you think the alligator got into the duck pond? Uh, this time we don't have any leads, we don't have any suspects. I believe it would be probably some juveniles. I think it would be a fun prank. Uh, what are your thoughts about it being in there? Do you think it should stay or be taken or be removed? At this point, uh, we have no comment. That would be up to the recreation department on what they want to do with it. Okay. And so it's all up to the recreational department whether it stays or goes? Mm -hmm. Okay. And if someone out there were to have any leads on who put it in, is there a line that they can call or Yes, they can call there? they can call our Morgan County Sheriff's Office tip line. Um, anybody have any leads or usually somebody out there wants to brag about what they did, so we'll tell friends and so friends forth. So anybody you. wants to call just they can remain anonymous. Well, thank you, officer, and have a very nice day. We are now here at the Fort Morgan Swimming Pool. And this is where the story of the alligator all started. There once was two alligators in the kiddie pool, and now there's one. Wonder who did this and why they did it. Tom McFarland. He was cleaning the pool and he decided to answer a couple of questions 
about how the other alligators got into the duck pond. Hello, sir. Hi. Um, do you spare some information for us on how the alligator, the other alligator, got into the duck pond? Yes, ma'am. I can. Okay. Um, do you know who put it in there? Yeah, we did. Oh, did you? Yes. Yes, we did. Was it just as a tourist attraction, or? Well, it was in this pool, and the kids had picked pieces out of it. So we had fixed it, and instead of putting it back in the pool where the kids could pick at it again, we decided to put it in the pond out there, so. Is it going to stay there, or? Yes, it will stay there. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, thank you. And there you have it. We finally found out who put the alligator in the duck pond. It was the Parks Recreational Department, and it's going to stay there, it's anchored in there, no one can remove it, and it was not stolen to begin with. And that's our story about how the alligator got into the duck pond. Thank you for tuning in to MCC News. Have a great day. Thank you, Jennifer. That was very good investigative journalism.